one of the things that's really central to what we're trying to do is to enact Sir Paulus's vision. So if you read um, his book about Papua New Guinea, um, chapter 9, which is where you'll find the points, you'll see that Sir Paulus has already sketched out a vision for people developments in Papua New Guinea to maximise the potential that this country has to resolve its own problems and challenges. I'm fortunate that over the last seven or eight years I've been able to travel around the world and support action learning work in the workplace and, and in the community. And I firmly believe that the only people who can resolve the challenges facing this nation are Papua New Guineans. And you actually have the capability, you have the competence, you have the skills and the intellectual capacity to do that. But it's necessary to create the sorts of frameworks that will encourage, incentivize and certify people. We also crucially want to help people to feel confident that they can achieve whatever they want to achieve. And if you read Sir Paulius' life story, the reason why we ask Sir Paulius to be our founding chancellor and our champion is because he truly is a lifelong learner. Someone who, throughout his life, has continued to learn, ask questions, and capture what he's learning. And that's true today. Always, Sir Paulius is writing, he's writing books, he's encouraging, he's visioning, um, and uh, he's learning from others as well. Um, and as some of you might know, uh, his day starts at 2am when he starts to do email. So he's not just talking with people in this country, but all over the world, encouraging them.